Thank you. Graduates, a new word. <laughs> Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, it is a pleasure to be with you all today as we celebrate the achievements of SOAS students and pay tribute to the support of family and friends. Graduation is always a special time. We all regret that our president, Dame Grasa Machel, is not unable to be with us this year, but this gives me a wonderful opportunity to be a part of you, to be part of the ceremony again on this occasion. SOAS is one of the finest universities in the world. Truly global in scope and reach, with its distinct specializations in the knowledge of Asia, Africa, and the Middle East. SOAS offers a truly distinctive opportunity for students and academic staff to experience on a daily basis the interaction, connectivity, exposure, which is a microcosm of today's world. For more than 100 years, SOAS so has, has been at the forefront of specialist scholarship on languages, culture, society, politics, and economics of Asia, Africa, and the Middle East. It is rare to find a place with such rich diversity of cultures and backgrounds and where learning and critical thinking are, are nurtured and enhanced. What makes SOAS particularly special is its global perspective. Our world needs people who can build bridges across communities and cultures and make a real difference. Whatever path you choose, I would say don't be afraid to continue to reach out for guidance. Your tutors have, have already so expertly taken you thus far, but there will be many, many encounters with other people and indeed challenges whereby you will require advice and a guiding influence. I have been incredibly lucky in that I've, been, I've had amazing support from key individuals throughout my life and entire career, from the first persons who encouraged me to look at design and art and architecture rather than to go into the sciences like my brothers who are above me who I wanted to be like, to my, degree, to my degree teacher, um, a wonderful man called Peter Allison, who works with me to this day. His thoughts and intellects have been and are still a constant presence for me. Also in the last decade, my industry colleagues have been an incredible stable hand. Great architects like Richard Rogers, Sir Rich, Lord Rogers, has been a, an incredibly influential uh, person on my career. Um, he's been there when I have had um, issues that have absolutely um, terrified me and uh, caused me to be incredibly concerned about whether I should stay, stay in my industry. Other people were important architects like Eduardo Sutomura, the Pritzker Prize winning architect, whom I worked with in my early years. He was deeply influential in me starting my own business and in allowing me to gain confidence. He was generous when we would go to sites, he would talk to me and he would talk about this idea of expressing one's thoughts and ideas in the world. He would use a very simple device of taking me into the context that he was in. And he would tell me that this is the, this is the, this is the arena, this is the space at which one would express oneself. The context is everything. 20 years on, I reflect on these moments and I realize how profound these guiding moments have been. These people gave me the confidence to be who I am now, and my family and my loved ones. Finally, what I've learned from my years in practice, and this sentiment should resonate to all the chosen paths that you are taking. Architecture is something that should never be practiced in a vacuum, is what I tell my students and my staff that I work with. And it is something that I would urge you to take with you, that you should work within the context of the world that you're in. So my final advice to you is be inquisitive and engaged. Don't be afraid to get your hands dirty and learn about the context in which you're in. Use your imagination and ultimately and most importantly, please find your voice. Congratulations to each of you and every one of our graduates. You will always be a part of SOAS and SOAS will always be a part of you.